Hi darlings, Mimiji here, MimijiStyle.com, and today we're going to be doing another sew along of one of my most recent pre-spring collections for simplicity. Today we're going to be working on pattern A301. Now if you're new to sewing or you just need a refresher, go and visit the Sewing Basics video linked in the description box below, watch that, then come along and sew with me. Once you have cut all your pattern pieces out of fabric, we're ready to start sewing. Okay, now we're gonna start by working on our front and our pockets. So grab one front leg and with the right side facing you, the right side of your fabric facing up, grab one pocket facing and you're going to place them right sides facing and you're going to align making sure that you match up your notches and also you should have two dots on both your front pant leg and on your pocket facing. So I'm gonna pin first at my notch And now we're gonna to go to the sewing machine. I want you to go ahead and pin your other pocket facing to your other front, the same way you just saw me do here. And we're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, we're gonna start by sewing our pocket facing. So we're going to be sewing 5 eighths of an inch away from the cut edge. You're going to back stitch at the beginning and you're going to sew all the way down until we get to that bottom dot. We're going to stop stitching at the dot. Stop at the dot and back stitch. Now I want you to take your scissors and I want you to clip to the dot, but don't clip past the dot. Now you're going to Understitch along the edge, making sure that the pocket is to the right of you and also your seam allowance is to the right of you. Now you're going to fold your pocket to the inside and you're going to press. Okay, as you can see, I pressed my pocket facing and then continue pressing the seam allowance above the pocket facing and then make sure that you have turned out where we made that little snip into our fabric to the outside. So it should look like this on the right side. Now go ahead and grab your pocket so that we can add it to our pocket facing. Okay, now I want you to go ahead and grab your uh, front pocket yoke and pocket and with right sides facing lay it over your pocket facing and we're going to align our notches you should have two double notches here on your pocket and pocket facing and go ahead and pin there continue to pin along your pocket and then pin at the end where you where you have reached your pocket facing And what we're going to do is we're going to go from the dot that you should have here on your pocket around our curve and we're going to stop where our facing ends. Okay, now I've moved my pocket, my uh, pants leg out of the way so that I'm only sewing on my pocket facing and my pocket. And I'm going to start where that dot is. So that's where I'm going to put my needle in. And sewing using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to back stitch and then start sewing around. You're going to sew your other pocket the same way. Okay, now we have our, we've stopped, we've stitched around our pocket, and now we're going to lay this over the top, and we're going to stitch along the fold until we get to our dot, and that's going to close this opening that we have here. Now 
Now go ahead and press your pocket, make sure everything is nice and flat, turn it to the right side, and then we're going to baste across the top. And then I'm just going to stitch across the bottom just a tad. And now we have finished our pocket. Okay, now that we have our pockets done, we're gonna go ahead and stitch the inseam of our pants. So I want you to lay one front over one back, right sides facing. I want you to match your inseam notch and then pin at the top. And then continue pinning along your entire inseam. I want you to pin front to back at your inseam for both pant legs and then we're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, starting at the hem and working our way up our inseam, you're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, back stitch at the beginning and at the end. You're going to do both inseams the same way. Okay, go ahead and press your inseam to one side. I went ahead and finished my raw edges with my serger. And now we're going to open this up. And we're going to lay them over top of each other. And we're going to sew, pin and sew, around the entire crotch, front to back. So I'm going to first align my inseams and I'm going to pin. You should have two notches for the front and you should have three notches for the back. And now we're going to sew using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance all the way around our crotch. Back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Now you can go ahead and finish your raw edge with a serger. Okay, now that our crotch is completely sewn and pressed, we're gonna do our side seams. So I'm going to pin the entire side seam to the pant leg, the front is facing up towards me as you can see because we have our pockets. This is the back. So the side seam to the right of me, I'm going to pin and sew all the way down. The one to the left of me, I'm going to Pin at, starting at my notch, that's where the zipper is going to stop, and then we're going to pin and sew all the way down. Now, this side we're going to do a little bit differently because we're going to baste from the top of, of our pant down to where our notch is, where our uh, zipper is going to end. We're going to back stitch, then we're going to go back to a regular length stitch, 2.5, and we're going to sew the remaining side seam. So we're gonna start with the side seam that is being sewn completely from top to bottom. So let's pin there. Okay, and now the other side seam. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this to the sewing machine. Now we're gonna back stitch at the beginning and at the end and we're working on the side seam that is being sewn completely from top to bottom. Now we're gonna work on the other side seam. Now we're gonna be inserting an invisible zipper here. So starting at the top, we're going to be using a basting stitch, the longest stitch you have. I'm not going to back stitch at the beginning. Okay. 
When I reach my notch, I'm gonna go back to a normal length stitch of 2.5 and I'm going to back stitch. Now continue sewing along the rest of your side seam. Now go ahead and grab your invisible zipper and then switch out your presser foot with your universal zipper foot. Okay, I went ahead and pressed my seam open the way you see here and then I put the rest of my pants to the left of me so that I'm only working on my seam allowance. I got a little bit of an extra long zipper so that my zipper pull can be beyond my pants. That way it's completely out of the way as I'm sewing. And what we're going to do is we're just going to baste this side of the zipper tape to this side of our, of our seam allowance. So align the center of your zipper tape along your seam line. And using the longest stitch you have, a basting stitch, we're just going to stitch along the edge. Turn it over and again making sure that the pants are to the left of you and you're only working on your seam allowance, you're going to stitch the other side. Now I want you to go ahead and remove your basting stitch from the top until where we stopped basting and switched to our normal length stitch. Now once you do that, I want you to go ahead and open your zipper. And I want you to put your zipper pull through the inside so you should have a little hole. Move it completely out of your way. And now we're going to stitch close to the edge using a regular length stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sew close to the edge. So as you're sewing, you're just going to pull your zipper teeth out a little bit as you see me doing here. and then turn it around and you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Go ahead and pull your zipper pull back up and you've got an invisible side seam zipper. Okay now I want you to go ahead and grab both your facing pieces and you're going to lay them right sides facing and then you're going to pin the side that is to the right of me and we're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, we're going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. We're going to sew. Now I want you to go ahead and press this seam open and you have the option of finishing the lower edge of your uh, facing by either serging it or uh, zigzagging it however you'd like. Now go ahead and open your zipper and we're going to pin our facing to our pants at the waist. Now we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch across the entire top using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and then we're going to stitch down the side to encase our seam allowance. Going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end. <laughs> now 
Now we're going to sew down the side. You're going to stitch close to your zipper teeth, but of course do not sew on your zipper teeth. You can trim off your seam allowance and then turn your facing to the inside. Okay, once you turn your facing to the inside, we're going to do some understitching. So I want you to have your seam allowance and your facing to the right of you. And we're going to stitch close to the edge as far in as you can get. Now go ahead and press your waistband to the inside. Now we're going to go ahead and create our pleats. So you should have dots uh, transferred to your facing and also on your pants so that you know exactly where to make your pleats. So what we're going to do is we're going to pinch this and make sure that we're matched up on either side. Try to keep your pocket facing free. I'm going to go in on one side and out the other side to make sure I'm coming in one dot and out the other side at the same exact place. And then we're going to stitch through all the layers from our pin to our pin or dot to dot. So I'm going to go ahead and pin the rest of my pleats out. Now we can go to the sewing machine and sew in between our dots. Okay, so I'm gonna put my needle in where my dot is. I'll remove my pin. And I'm going to backstitch and then stop and backstitch where my other dot is. And you're going to do the rest of your pleats the same way. Okay, now that we have all of our pleats done, we're going to go ahead and stitch our facing down. So we're going to sew through all layers, and I'm going to be following my guide here. Um, you can do it about a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch away from the edge of your facing. And when you get to a pleat, I want you to flatten it out in the center like this. Now you do have the option of just keeping these as pants and not adding the bib to make the jumper. If you want to just make these pants, then you're done at the waist and then all you would need to do is finish the hem of your pant leg. Since we are doing the jumper, we're going to go ahead and continue. So I'm going to set this aside for just one minute and I want you to grab your shoulder straps. We're going to fold them in half. And along the long edge okay we're gonna stitch along the edge using 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance back stitch at the beginning and at the end Do your other strap the same way. Okay, once you have your straps done, we're going to place the angled end on the bib in between the dots that you should have here. And I'm going to go ahead and 
pin that in place. Now go ahead and run over to your machine and baste these down and then we'll continue. Okay, once they're basted down, go ahead and lay the other bib over the top, right sides facing. And we're going to stitch along the sides, across the bottom, and then again along the sides. So we're going to go ahead and pin. Now we're going to sew using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now you want to make sure that your strap is completely out of the way when you're sewing. Backstitch. Go ahead and pivot. Backstitch. Now you can go ahead and trim your corners and turn this right side out. Okay, so I went ahead and opened up my zipper, the front of the pants are facing me. I'm going to turn this over and we're literally just going to pin this in place. Align those notches that you have um, on your bib to the ones on your waistband. You just need to make sure that it's centered with your, of course, with your crotch seam. And then we're going to pin through all those layers. And then we're just going to follow the stitching that we did earlier. So just pin. And now that you have it all pinned in place, we're going to stitch following that stitching line we already have. Okay, we're going to back stitch and stitch following our stitching line. Okay, once you're done with your bib, go ahead and make your buttonholes as you have them marked onto your straps and then you're going to hand sew your buttons. I'm not doing that on camera but you can do it um, after you're all done if you'd like and you're going to place your buttons right in the middle of this pleat on the farthest pleats closest to the sides. So not the middle ones, you're going to place them on the ones closest to your side seams. And then after we do that, you're going to do the hem of your pant. Now I suggest that you try it on first and then see if you need to shorten the length or um, make a, a hem smaller than the one indicated on the pattern paper and then you can do that also on your own. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you to do are the belt carriers. So grab your belt carrier and I've already pressed mine but what you're going to do is you're going to press each end to the middle, press it and then you're going to press it in half again. And now we're going to stitch close to the edge. Okay, we're going to sew close to the edge. After you're done sewing, them to, sewing your carriers, you're going to go ahead and cut out three inch pieces so you get a total of eight. Okay, so you're going to take your uh, belt loop and we're going to place them along each pleat, right? So you have four in the front and you're going to have four in the back. And we're going to center them with the stitching line that we have. And then you're going to turn under three eighths on each end and you're going to stitch close to the edge. I'm going to show you how to do one and then you can do the others. Okay, so I am working on my front ones first. So of course nothing is underneath except the front and the bib. I'm going to turn under three eighths center it with my pleat and then I'm going to move down turn under the other three eighths And then you're going to do the same thing with the remaining belt carriers. Now once you've added your belt loops, all you have left to do, like I said, is add your button and finish your hem. And you're all done. 
Well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this so long. Until next time, peace.